What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in small troll. And today we're gonna to be talking about Luxian's inventory. But before we do that, we got one, two, three, four, uh, five. Well, five at least. Six? Five. Five bots just chilling in the hut. Six, actually, because there's a second one on top of this guy. I don't even know how this is impossible, but my god, dude, like <laughs> There's so many bots in this game. Why are they all boomeranger and gunslinger? Like, what is with that? Are they the easiest classes to code or something? A anyways, uh, so Lexington's going to be chilling down here in the basement. And while we're on our way to him, I do gotta mention, if you guys are new to Trove, you can use that sign up link down in the description. And then anything you end up buying out of the cash shop, I make a percentage of that sale. It's an awesome way you can end up supporting me. But speaking of supporting me, uh actually before we get into luxian's inventory let me take a quick beep <gasps> we got wings we'll talk about those in a second right after this sponsored message yes that's right i actually ended up getting sponsored yay today we're going to be actually talking about opera gx which is a new internet browser for gamers specifically this was the biggest reason why i ended up getting this browser just because it's got the gx corner so not only does this tab show the release date for anything that's coming out it also shows relevant news articles and links to them directly so you don't have to do any browsing or any searching for any new game stuff anymore there's also tons of different themes but you can customize it and thank god it does have a dark mode but that's not all because you'll actually see on the left tab here that we have facebook messenger integration whatsapp instagram twitter and even discord so if i just click on twitter's icon on the left it's going to end up opening it right within the tab that i'm already browsing so i don't have to end up opening a separate tab to tweet stuff out anymore i could be watching youtube and then just click on the twitter tab and it'll end up opening up on the left side of the browser this works for discord and it also works for twitch i don't have the twitch one enabled though just because i don't really use twitch that much another really handy thing is if you're ever watching any videos you can actually just click this little button right up here and what that's going to do is end up taking your video out of the youtube player youtube just being the example you can do this with pretty much anything and then you could just drag this around put it onto your second monitor resize it and what have you now one of the big reasons that opera gx says that it's for gamers is because it's going to end up having the throttling or the gx control right here where you can not only end up monitoring which tab are taking the most CPU and taking the most RAM, but you can end up limiting the amount of network that's being used. You can limit the amount of RAM that's being used and you can limit the amount of CPU that's being used. You can also import all of your saved settings from your previous browser and the mobile app of Opera GX can actually sync with your PC, meaning that I could be browsing on my computer one second and then move to my phone and easily have all of the same tabs accessible. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So we've got uh, the Renewist Orb. We'll, we'll go through these in order here, but uh, uh, this is a really good Luxian, if I do say so. So the Renewist is from a New Year's event item. Uh, is this one the ally? Personal Renewist orb. No, this is the mount. Okay. So there's an ally and then there's a mount, which are both equally kind of stupid. But at least this one's kind of got uh, a light aura coming out of it, even though it doesn't... Is it just me or is it not centered? I don't know. I could be crazy. It's very difficult to tell just because of the type of mount that it is. You guys know me. I don't like bouncing mounts, but I mean, at least this one's got like a healthy glow about it. Cool, whatever. It, it seems like it's actually just a static glow rather than a, a 3D uh, image or something. Well, not that the glows in this game are 3D, but you know what I mean, where it's like I, I can tell when I'm turning the camera that the glow is turning with me rather than it just turning with the mount. I don't know. Uh, and then we've got the Wings of Shadowy Descent. Now, this is actually really cool that we've got these in Luxian's store. However, my God, they're overpriced. Like, seriously. So, Shadowy Descent. These should be... Yeah, these are going to end up selling for a hefty bundle. Not only are they uh, really expensive in Luxian's inventory, but these are also really cool wings. So I highly recommend you get these just in case you actually want them. Uh, but then if you happen to have 200 spare dragon coins, yeah, right. Uh, then you could buy these wings and then uh, continue to sell them, which I, I don't really think that that's worth 200 dragon coins to try and sell that. But I mean, if they're going for half a mil now, at least on PC, it means that the price is only going to end up increasing as uh, Luxian's shop currently gets further and further away. So usually it's a good investment to get into wings because you can never end up getting tradable versions of wings anymore. And these ones are actually super duper cool. Did you guys know, this is a side note, by the way, I'll see if I can track down an image, but probably not, that uh, Roblox actually stole these wings from Trove. <laughs> 
I'm on it. I mean, I, it kind of makes sense because this was during Trove's, probably around Trove's most popular uh, time. Uh, and Roblox is not a, like there. It is nothing new for Roblox to rip stuff off from other games. I, I just remember seeing like literally these exact same wings are, uh, are are in Roblox. And I just thought that that was like so freaking weird. Oh my God, the bard. I don't like the way that he flies. That's weird. Either way, beautiful wings. Absolutely beautiful. Let me actually do a slash pose for you guys. L look at that. Oh, I didn't even know his pose was him on his knees. It's like a knee slide. That's actually really dope. I like the bard even more now, even though I already liked him a lot. Uh, so then we've got Inspector Cardboard. I don't understand the point. It's a mag rider. Uh, it's supposed to be like a cardboard sled or a toboggan. I don't understand the blue parts on it. But whatever, I mean, it's cool. Hey, devs or modders, uh, is there... Somebody should make a mod where it can go ahead and be a mag rider if they want it to be that or a mount. I want a Metal Gear Solid box. I want a box that I'm inside uh, that I can peek through or something. I don't know that, that that would end up working with all of the classes because Revenant's pretty chunky. Uh, but either way, it's just a mag rider that is a cardboard box. Hello, go away. Whatever, cool. Uh, and then there's the Sun Touched Shimmer Wing. So this is pretty much just if you want mastery. Uh, because of course this was an old event item. Why does it show? It shows two of them. What the heck? Weird. I guess they just categorize it in allies as well. Anyways, it gives 9% magic damage, 30 magic find. Okay, whatever. Uh, and it's going to end up being this little butterfly right here. Please kill me. I don't know if I can. I wish I could eat you, but I do not have a mouth for I am made of voxels. Either way, I don't know. I mean, it's a it's an ally like whatever okay cool and then there's the bewitching howlug now this was this one's kind of weird because this was from the shadows eve event which we've got the shadows eve event right around the corner that's going to be the october halloween event right which uh, okay whatever so it gives five jump 45 to magic damage and 45 to physical damage means that you could have it on either character but whatever uh, the ally itself i mean it's a disgusting little slug that actually leaves like a slime trail behind it do you actually want it? Probably not. But at the same time, it's kind of adorable in the same way that uh, demons are adorable. I didn't have any joke going into that, okay? So either way, it's disgusting. <sighs> like, it looks like something that came out of my nose and then proceeded to evolve into a sentient being and then had like glowing off of it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Uh, and then there's gonna be the five Luxian equipment style vaults, which basically these are gonna be the same as style vaults where you, if you end up getting those, you can get them out of the cash shop and stuff. Basically what this is gonna give you is a random seasonal event pinata or Luxian equipment style. So if you go over to the style section and go to the guns, for example, these are all considered styles. So uh, the, the amount of things that these equipment styles can give you is not worth 15 dragon coins because it can give you a lot of garbage, like a lot of garbage. And then there's the streamer dream box three, uh, but you can only buy one of them. So this is actually in the allies tab. There's going to be streamer dream one, two, and three. These are basically allies that were based off of streamers, which I have no idea who most of these are, or if they're even still around either way, let me know in the comments, if you guys are interested enough to tell me which one did you end up getting? And don't say like the superstitious, like don't, don't say, okay. Yas queen. I kind of like that. Don't say, uh, I was going to say, don't say like GZ ghost or something and instead say, or not mischief say, oh yeah, the green cat. But most of these names are pretty straightforward, actually. <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you guys. And then there, of course, there's going to be the golden horde dragon soul, which you can buy 15 of these per Luxian's visit, which can give you any of these trophies all the way throughout. Consume one soul, five, 10, 25, 50, uh, 75, and finally a full 100. It's going to cost you... Uh, 400 dragon coins in total to get the fully maxed out 100 souls um, which is 100 uh, extra dragon coins over other dragons that cost 300 but the point is that this guy's extremely time gated so Luxian's visiting for this weekend next weekend it's going to be Coruxian and then the weekend after that it's Luxian again because they always are on a uh, week uh, a two-week ratio so Luxian basically visits twice a month 
uh, which means you can only buy uh, 30 of his Dragon Souls per month, which is quite disgusting. Uh, and you need to have 100 total. So uh, anyways, you'll just consume those. I don't know why I'm going over to the dragon thing I'm a Bob, but okay. Uh, so you consume all of those and then you'll end up getting the fully maxed out Luxian dragon, which I mean, you guys know me. I actually like this dragon a lot. I think that's really cool. Um, most of all, I really like the uh, shots out of it because it basically just shoots and has like smoke and particles and it looks really cool and it has flux coming out of it. Can't really give you guys the best example just because of the fact that, uh, you know, the, these, uh, like the ground and everything is so super duper bright, but either way, that's going to do it for the, uh, Luxian's visit. So I've got a lot of our videos that are planned to come out today, but most of those are going to end up being related to Genshin Impact. So bear with me. Your sub feed is probably going to end up getting spammed if you even get notifications. Because YouTube doesn't give you... Yeah. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want, support the channel, and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.